one of the most anticipated and most exciting Tesla reveals happened tonight, and that was for the 2021 Tesla Cybertruck. In today's video, I wanna talk about the six key features and takeaways from the presentation and reveal of the Cybertruck. And I also want to compare this truck to the competition and see how it stacks up. I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. So one of the first key features that Elon mentioned, and this was right at the beginning of the presentation, he mentioned that it had a rolled stainless steel exoskeleton exterior, and that he mentioned that this was the same material as a Starship, and that it could withstand a shot of a 9mm bullet. He talked about how this exoskeleton can actually help bear the payload and the weight, whereas a traditional vehicle, the outside frame, does not bear any of the weight of the truck. And so that was really key. I do personally like the look of the stainless steel exterior. So this was a really key feature. It keeps them from having to paint the vehicle. It also gives it a really tough look. It won't be able to be scratched as easily, dented as easily. And of course, they did the sledgehammer test to show how strong it was. And I really personally like the stainless steel exterior and I think a lot of other people will as well. Another key feature and this is important for most people purchasing a pickup truck and that's the payload and max towing. At the top level model it has a 3,500 pound payload capacity and a 1,400 pound max towing capacity which is going to lead the competition, and I'll compare that in a, just a minute to the rest of the competition, but those numbers are very impressive. It has a 6.5 foot covered bed with a built-in loading ramp. I think the built-in loading ramp is one of the most important features of the truck, and I think a lot of people will find that very useful. At the very end of the presentation, Elon Musk unveiled the one more thing, which was an electric ATV, not a lot of details released on the ATV, but they did demonstrate pulling the ATV into the back of the truck with the loading ramp that pulled out of the back gate. So very impressive, very useful, and I do like that feature quite a bit. They also discussed the fact that it had a 16-inch max ground clearance, and this is with their adaptive air suspension system. This is going to allow it to have really good off-road performance, and it's going to be pretty smooth even in rough environments because of the air suspension. 16-inch um, max ground clearance is going to be class leading, and it's also going to allow it to go in a lot of places where other vehicles cannot. No lift kit required. And do remember that a truck like this does not have the drive shaft and other things down below which can actually stick and take away some of the max ground clearance. So this is going to be a great off-road vehicle and a really good work vehicle as well. One of the funniest parts of the presentation was when they discussed the Tesla armor glass. It did well with the dropping of the steel ball onto the example sheet of glass. But when Franz actually demonstrated it with throwing a stainless steel ball at the side of the Tesla Cybertruck, it actually did break the glass. I don't think that's exactly what they were going for, but as Elon Musk joked, it didn't actually break through, so it still did its job. But this, this Tesla armor glass is the same glass that is going to be found on the Tesla Semi, and it's going to be quite a bit stronger than any traditional glass found in any other pickup truck or any other vehicle that is a traditional civilian vehicle. He also discussed the low cost of ownership, and I'll show you that little section and that slide here where Elon Musk discusses how this truck can actually be quite a bit less expensive to operate than a traditional truck. Now, if you go right now to the order page for the Tesla truck, you'll see that there are three price options, the $39,000 price point for the single motor rear wheel drive unit, that's 250 plus miles, 7,500 pound towing capacity, and less than 6.5, zero to 60. And so that's a great value for what that truck is. Then, of course, you'll see the middle of the line, which is a dual motor, all-wheel drive for 49900 That gets over 300 miles with a 10,000-pound towing capacity and a less than 
0 to 60. And of course, the surprise, I don't know if anyone expected it necessary to have three motors. Maybe some people talked about four motors, but a three motor design that is 69,900. And that particular vehicle is over 500 mile range, 14,000 pound capacity with a 2.9 second 0 to 60. I think that's probably one of the most exciting features. Not that you're going to have to use this to uh, race necessarily, but it will be a nimble truck, as Elon Musk mentioned, and it's going to be a, a very fast truck. And so this is actually a, a surprise how affordable this truck is. There's two options that are under 50000 very respectable, very comparable to other trucks on the market, and I know this is going to be a great seller. Now I want to see how this compares to the other trucks on the market. First off, in that first column, you'll notice the Ford F-150, and for each of these trucks in the category, I did pull the top spec, most powerful engine choice to kind of give you the top end version of these trucks. Of course, these prices down below are kind of for just the base model, kind of the cheapest in this category with this engine. Of course, you could add a lot of specs and get these prices quite a bit up. But the Ford F-150 with the 5.0 liter V8 has 11,100 pound towing capacity and a 3,270 pound payload. You'll notice the Ram has a very impressive towing at the top spec of 12,750, payload of 2,300 pounds. The Toyota Tundra, which is the, the lowest in the uh, payload there at 1,730. A decent towing at 10,200. The Chevy Silverado with a 6.2 liter V8 actually has the, the class leading towing capacity at the top spec at 13,000. 400 pounds, 2,250 pounds of payload capacity. Then, of course, the GMC Sierra with 9,300 pounds towing and 1,760 pounds payload. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Tesla top spec option has a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. And so it now is going to lead the competition. It's going to beat out all these trucks. Now, it will cost a little more than the competition here in that spec. 69900 is the spec that has the 14,000 pound towing capacity and the 3,500 payload capacity. But once again, as Elon mentioned, the actual overall cost of ownership is going to be lower for the Tesla pickup, even if you pay more for the top spec option. And I guarantee none of these trucks will go zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds. So the last thing to talk about is when is this truck going to be available? And if you look at the ordering page, it mentions that it's going to be manufactured in late 2021 for the the base model and the all-wheel drive model. If you want the tri-motor, that will be later on in 2022 to get that top spec. But these trucks are going to be amazing. You're going to be able in just two years to have a class-leading pickup truck with over 300-mile range for under $50,000, and it's going to be a truly tough truck. Well, I do appreciate you watching the video. I do love to hear from you. I love to hear what you think about the Tesla pickup truck in the comments section below. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and click that bell icon so you know when new videos are published. Thank you so much for watching.